So we've already had an interesting morning. I went to have my shower and the pump, for whatever reason, has stopped working. So we're looking at, or Mike is looking at that today, because let's be honest, I don't know what I'm doing with this well or pump or anything like that. Couldn't get the barbecue to go, but of course, Mike was awesome. I got the barbecue to work. And then today we're also going to let the chickens free range for the first time. So I'm a little nervous about that, but we'll see how it goes. I've checked the line. I've got power all the way out to this juncture here. So there's still power there. Okay. So that's the line for the pump. The problem is the line goes into there. Okay. And oh. in there is not just creepy like Blair Witch. <laughs> it's also unstable. Well. Very. Everything like, is like. So I'm assuming this was, I think from everything I've heard, this was their root cellar before I'm not sure when it was used last or whatever, but we got to cave it in eventually. And we're hoping that it doesn't There's cave an issue to that in with you. Um, but I'm running through some scenarios and if I if I'm right, then there's a well pump in there, and this is their makeshift well house as well as their cold storage cellar. If, if that's true, we can't just keep this in, because then we bury our pump. Well then, maybe this is good that this is happening now, so that we figure out something before it caves in on its own, because it's not... Well, like, like you can wood, even see, well, not only that, but there's a pillar, you can't see it without the light, but there's a pillar in there and it's leaning too. Yeah. So, yeah. So we're going to have to figure it out. Our power's up and running so I can call emergency services if needed. <laughs> it take them an hour to get here. Uh, well, then I'll throw you in the back of the truck and drive. You oh, you know me. Mama bear rush. But I got to get back to cooking his farm fresh eggs. The girls are laying pretty regularly now, so that's good. So because we don't have an actual stove yet, we're just cooking on the barbecue. Oh, that omelet looks so good. I gotta flip it. You know what I can do? Hold on. Fix that so it's not good. Oh, this is it. Let that cook up for a minute and we'll go collect whatever eggs are in the box. So one of the chickens actually <laughs> took the eggs out of the box and started laying there. So now the rest of them. Mike, can you, oh. Um, the eggs are too far in for my arm. I was just wondering if you can grab them. Come on, baby. There's a chewing them claws. Right? <laughs> you know, sharp people can reach them. It's right over there. You want them all? Yeah. I'll leave one of them in the box somewhere. It doesn't matter. Yes, ladies. I don't know which one of you did it, but you gotta. There. There's all four. Okay. So I'll take. That's it. You know what? I'll leave them there. And then. Because there's. One in each box. I'm going to. This is how I think we started training them to lay in the boxes, and they were doing pretty good until 
today. So, just a simple lock we have for this guy. But I'll tell you what, it doesn't move anywhere. So we are gonna try free ranging the chickens for the first time. And we set up our cattle panels to try to divert them so they don't go into the greenery straight off the bat. So, they're all excited to come out. Yeah, go for it. Let's see how fast they do this. Anything interesting in there? There's some stuff that probably could be used. You want to bring the camera in? So like where it comes in and I don't know, there's styrofoam. Um, Looks, looks like a table leg or something in there. Like, it's just junk in here right now. But they've used tin to hold everything in. There's a metal car frame. What? As a roof. A metal car frame? And so it looks like a trailer frame. Oh. Holding this roof together pretty much. But, I got a gun here, sorry. Make sure you don't hit the walls too much because oh, the skids are holding the Big old the spider. Got it caught under the skid. No, not caught under the skid. It goes up underneath. Problem is, 
I don't know where it goes underneath too, unless it comes back out. Why does it go underneath there? There's another scythe in there. Is there. Made a tin. Take the camera. I'm try and grab that. And, uh, that's probably the screen through the windows. <laughs> Bunch of waste baskets or something. Small wooden table. And styrofoam. That's essentially it. Give well, me. good news is I didn't die. Bad news is. Hold on. Bad news is what? I don't know where this wire goes. It goes under the ground. Like it goes under. Those are two or a uh, log. Like a log retaining wall, and it goes under that, and it goes down that way, I think. Do you want to go check down by the well then? I might have to. Like, I don't know. Because <coughs> this, that should be connected. I got tested power, and power is there. <sighs> Yeah. Two of these guys. It, and I'm just letting you know it's not a his and hers. It's a his. It, no, it's a his. And when his buddies come up, it's another his. Yeah, it could be his and hers. Like... Yeah. So we got a branch that is broken that we got to take down right there. It's pretty big. And it's just dangling, so we gotta get up there and let it fall, because I don't want it to fall on anybody just walking through. Um, do me a favor, go wiggle that wire a bit. I'm going to stand here and listen and see if it, uh, fits on. Okay. Yep. I'm going to go wiggle some wire. Anything? We will have water somehow soon. I don't know how, but we will. Pardon? Can I stop wiggling? Now let's go see. Gotta bring my kids multimeter. So this side of oh, the woods, got it? yep, got it. Right. will have to be done next year. Set of hands, yeah. oh, let's start. There's a big old spider in there. Did you get it on camera? I might have. I don't know. Um, I Can I? Kind of, kind of didn't go to camera school. Am I? Electrifying. Oh, oh you're so electrifying. I'm electrifying. <laughs> so, is the well dry or anything? No, but it's a lot further down than it used to be. So, let's see. I would like to get. So, that 
Is there? Well. Oh. The wire's in the water. That's fine. That's DC. So, here's, here's the thing is, I might need you. That wire there. I need to make sure that's good. But it's attached. Yeah, so that is our well pump right there. Okay, that's good news. test. Oh, he's got him heat shrinked, which is good, but I don't have the proper thing without cutting the wires, and I don't want to cut the wires. So, what time is it? 2.57. I'm going to, because I know Gord has one, um, I'm going to have to have borrow a thing from him and it'll actually test right there to make sure there's power. You know what another thing that we need to do back here? It'll help with the water. This is all sucking up the water. Right? It's all growth. Well, I guess, yeah. So not wrong. I mean it could help because that is kind of low. It is, but I don't think that uh, there's probably another 10 or 15 feet of water there. Well, hopefully we get a good rain. Okay, so there's a piece of electric equipment that you can put around a cable, mm -hmm. and it verifies that there's power coming through that cable. Okay. If the cable's hot, then I know that it's the pump has gone bad, right? Because okay. there's power to it. Okay. If there's no power in that part of the cable, then there's somewhere, there's a disconnect between here and there. And we'll have to dig up all this. Well, we wanted to do that before winter anyway. No, no, no not that. We wanted to dig up this little part up here. Oh. And rebury it. Or re-insulate it. Okay. Right here, <coughs> honey. I think it's right here, right here, right here. There's a rock, uh -huh. bedrock. And the plumbing goes through here. So if the cold travels through that rock and into the pipe, it freezes it. Which is why they were saying maybe to bury this whole area or dig this back up, maybe re-insulate it even better, and then we should be good. How okay. much power is in the battery that's connected to it? battery has power. But a lot? Yeah, a lot, a lot. So, there is about 125 amps in there. Mm -hmm. So it's got a lot of power in there. And I tested down there at the line at the break and the power all the way to that point. <coughs> so there's either a disconnect between that point and the pump or the pump went bad. Is it is there a chance it could be clogged? 